really wonder what Ichiban went to go do, like, in the time since we left him. Whatever he damn well wanted. Like, did, did, did he go, like, try to find out about uh, the latest Dragon Quest game? Did he try to go read about some manga that was still, that was, uh, going on when he went to prison? For sure. He's kind of keeping up to date on, like, strategy guides. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's get to the meeting point. Great. dachi sons not even here. And I'm sure this is where we're supposed to meet. You really should just sell that business pronto. Don't be sad. Remember what I said? You deal with business the way you do with fish and women. Catch, then release. Take pride in the catch, but then set them free. Any sporting fisherman could tell you that. Really? You want me back at the office? I hope you're joking. I pay you generously to deal with this nonsense. The whole idea behind bringing you on was so that I could enjoy my nights off. Ciao! Wow. Typical. Hey, sorry to bother you when you're busy. What? You seen a burly looking guy in a blue coat around here? A burly looking guy? Sorry, my friend. Myself, I only pay attention to the ladies. Sure, yes. Why don't you simply call this person? Is his phone dead? Oh, that's right. He gave me a smartphone to call him on. Ah, uh, wait. How do you call someone on this thing? There's no buttons. <laughs> a bit behind the times, aren't you? Here, allow me. You'll show me? I'll make you the smartest of smartphone users. Hey, there he is! You're not gonna weasel out of it this time, asshole. Shit! He only found me! Huh? Nico got a new cravat wearing fuckwad. When are you gonna do right by us? Then who are you, might I ask? You don't remember us? You sold us that shit property! Ah, that Yakuza, weren't you? The one who bought the deed for a most successful girls bar. Successful, my ass! It barely makes any money! You need to make this right, you shyster! Ah, oh, now that is strange. It certainly had a high profit margin while I was running it. The joint's in the red every month! Girls keep quitting, not enough customers. I can't even pay the electric bill! <laughs> <laughs> I dare say you'll have to become better at managing a business. Fuck you say? Uh, this was a crap business when you pawned it off on me. You better buy it back now! <laughs> you are a funny guy. Asshole. Do you even realize you're mocking the Omi Alliance? Give it a rest, you jerk. Say what? This guy was about to teach me to use a smartphone. I get you got business with him, but get in line. You get in line! Hey, wait just a second. That ugly red suit, and that scruffy-ass hair! Yeah? Remember what Anaki said? How there was a Tojo loyalist around here? It's supposed to look just like this guy, down to the moppy hair! Sick asshole. Enough about my hair! Ah, so you're an aggressive type yourself, huh? Something like that. Why don't you stand back, Mr... What was it? Nick Ogata? This is about to get ugly. I can see that. Will you be fine handling this by yourself? Hell yeah. And you can repay me in smartphone lessons. Sound good? <laughs> Very good. Quit your yapping! And if things get ugly, you got nobody to thank but your own hair! The old order! The battle is on! Cool. Alright, so both these guys have knives, so... Be careful, you're probably gonna start bleeding in this fight. I say probably, but then it didn't happen, so... Well, you know, you're just... going it out for the viewers, just in case. <laughs> Got the stun off, too, and he's right next to a bike, but... I... Ichiban, come on, bikes are right there! Gotta finish this a turn earlier if you did that, Ichiban, come on! Looks painful. 
So, in all honesty, did you sell them a crappy business or not? I certainly did not. It was raking in millions of yen each month at the time of sale. A wonderful little property. If that's true, why'd you offload it? The riffraff you just beat down were insisting on protection money. <laughs> I didn't want their protection. We were only asking for a measly hundred thou a month, man. You wouldn't even make a dent in what you were pulling in. Yes, I recall it being something like that. So you know what I told them? If you think it's so easy, why don't you try running it? And you sold it to him just to make a point? You bet I did. I, I mean, can you believe their arrogance? A measly hundred thou? I have a number of businesses, and yes, they do bring in hundreds of millions of yen per month. But the reason for that is I know the value of money. It's very difficult for a small business to make a hundred thou. Ah, so you wanted them to learn just how much work goes into it. Exactly. And I believe now they have definitely learned. Businesses are like women. You think having one will be so glamorous, but there's some upkeep involved. You need strategy, you need passion, and you need to work your ass off to make her happy. So, are you gonna do what it takes to make that bar successful? Fuck that, I'm done sinking money into that bottomless pit. Fine, I'll buy it back from you, but for half of what you paid me. Fuck you! But fine, take it, I don't care anymore. I don't believe I caught your name. Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban? <laughs> that means number one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a lot to live up to, but you certainly did that tonight. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. And, uh, speaking of help... Yes. You want to learn how to work a smartphone, correct? <laughs> don't worry, I didn't forget. Let's get to it. Where's your phone? I actually feel like I can make use of this thing now. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> You're welcome. Mayhaps we should keep in touch. When I meet interesting people, I like to think there's a reason why. We can be pen pals. Ah, uh, if you want. But I got kind of a history, in case you couldn't tell. I got out of prison today. <laughs> that, that sort of thing doesn't bother me. Well, you should probably know. I was charged with murder. Is that so? Oh my, you are interesting. <laughs> and rather blunt, too. You've got more honesty than sense. But I like that. Oh yeah? You might say I associate with people who have, well, all kinds of baggage. Many of them are caring much more than you. No kidding. I'm starting to think you're shadier than the guys I knew in prison. <laughs> Bad news for me if that's what a felon thinks. One point for Mr. Number One. Guess so. Well, see you around, Ichiban. You're not gonna just randomly call me or anything, are you? I just might. You'll find me to be a very persistent man. Hey there, Kasuga. Who is that guy? Hmm, my first pen pal, I guess. Huh? Hey, what took you so long anyway, man? You're the one who set this whole thing up. Oh, I was hungry, so I went and got a beef ball. I ordered an extra large one and... Mm. It was a struggle. <laughs> guess I'm getting old. Aren't we all? But here I am. About to sneak into a high-level Omi meeting. Yeah. Well, hope you're ready. Actually, I remember it's kind of a faux Yo. pas to, to to take a uh, doggy bags okay. from restaurants in uh Japan. So, just not something you do. Makes sense. Same ways. with like tipping. Mm. Okay. All right. So we're off to go to our first dungeon of three or four, I think. 
Uh, dungeons this, in this game aren't aren't great, oh, really? but we'll get into that in just a bit. Wow. Already shitting on the game. I mean, I love this game, but I will I will be the first to admit that it has a couple of rough patches. Like I can, th this whole sequence feels like it'd be mm -hmm. like just a an action-packed raid sequence, like in the uh, original seven games. But yeah, with the RPG retool, they they took the opportunity to make this a dungeon. Mm. But it's still <sighs> how do I put this? It's not much of like a a traditional RPG dungeon. It just feels more like an enemy gauntlet, I guess. Right. Anyway, we're obviously we're not going through this dungeon alone. Well, uh, we've got a buddy with us. Also, just just a random side note, uh, because the vending machine that was on the left side of the screen just reminded me. In every Dragon Engine game, if you interact with a uh, a vending machine like while enemies are aggroing on you, you just make the encounter disappear. <laughs> this works in six, Kiwami two, Sup? Judgment. This game, if you just don't want to fight enemies, just go buy a drink or just look at the drinks. <laughs> also, now we have a party. Adachi's joined us. Yo. Now, if this is a real RPG, they just jump down. Ah, uh, boo. <laughs> Will this place even take us anywhere? Yeah, should lead us straight to our building. Careful though, never know what kind of lunatics you'll run into. Uh, Adachi's right, there's tons of weirdos just hanging out in the sewers here. Also, I have no idea what the fuck I did to that, uh, barrel. You physics it. I couldn't do it again, though. So I'm glad I got it on footage oh. for at least oh, this. Come on! Cool. Alright, so, now that we got a dodgy with us, uh, we've got our first tank, I guess. He's got two skills, Beatdown, which is a more precise, uh, input than, like, the mash square button. You gotta, like, line it up when the circle moves and touches the the button in the center. It's really weird. It's like, it's the opposite of what Xenoblade teaches you, for example. Uh, the other skill Adachi has, uh, I believe is the one that, um, it can inflict rage on basically every enemy so that they all target him. So, yeah, he, he's basically a tank, like, to make another comparison to Xenoblade, he, he's like Ryan. Cool. Except that kind of tank I don't feel like is as useful in, like, a turn-based game as, like, a real-time game, but, you know. It's alright. Yeah, I don't really know how to, to really play it. I got this! I think it would help more if there was a um, more of a combat ladder that would tell you like how many how many people are in it and what their position will be for uh, priority and moves. But yeah, like if you get more insight into how how the flow of battle will go instead of yeah. just whoever's whose turn it is and who's next, yeah. that that might make it a little more useful. I don't know. I don't really like using rage that much in this game. 
Well, it, it does have its uses. I mean, there's a lot of status stuff I just never used, to be honest. Yeah. I'm I'm glad that getting a bike kicked at him um, made him stop being mad. <laughs> no, he's just mad at a different thing, which does not exist anymore. <laughs> right, just gonna top off a dodgy. I was hoping that battle was gonna heal him, but it was his first fight, so yeah. wishful thinking, I guess. <laughs> Um, at any point, just like out on the main screen, you can tap the, uh, on a PS4 controller, it would be, you know, uh, the touchpad to pull up a map. We're just gonna skip through most fights just because nothing's really, uh, new about any fight. Like, I guess the unboxers have, like, a weird attack pattern where they, like, weave and then punch you, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, level up. That's going up. <laughs> Look at me go. Exciting stuff. I have to say, I really wish that um, there was either like a, an ability or something you could buy to reveal dungeon maps, and uh, also to have something to display like a briefcase. Like that briefcase never shows up anywhere. You you just have to see it on the ground. Yeah, it would be nice to have like a treasure sensor or something. Yeah, especially since like there's some stuff that, while not like super rare or anything, it's just nice to have. And if you find it earlier, it's just better. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I think really the only tre time like treasure chests would get mapped put on your map would be like if you found a safe that you can't open at that moment. No, those don't show up. No, they absolutely do. Uh, never for me. Really? Yeah. Huh. Weird. PC, PC, they certainly didn't, so unless there was like a bug or something that they had to patch in. I've seen it on both PS4 and PC, so... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I also forgot to mention, in dungeons, you can't save wherever you want. You have to go to save points to save. It doesn't really amount to much of anything. Unless uh, you say that, but later on, it's an important. Actually, you thing. know what? Yeah, you're you're right. At right now, it doesn't um, it doesn't mean a whole lot. But later, some dungeons get really long, so yeah, you may want the save point. Or if you're just like lazy, like me, where you're like, okay, I've got you know, I have twenty of literally every heavy health potion, but I'm like one fight away from the save point. So why not just go to the save point? Yeah. All right. Uh. Yeah. I, before, before we wanted to go, or we went up, I wanted to just go like clear out that last bit of the map, just to make sure we got everything. Hmm. So here's your soft point of no return. So uh. I guess before going on, stock up. If you can leave the dungeon, I guess. I don't actually know if you can leave this dungeon right now. Hey, what do you think you're doing here? Wake up! We got intruders! Get them! All right, so four security guards. Not not a whole lot of trouble here. I guess be careful of the diving headlock. I don't know if you can do anything to uh to mitigate the damage on the uh second half of the attack. Check this out. Come on. Let's go. Like, what, once they grab you, that, that, that's it. You're taking that, like, 15 damage. Yeah. Don't get caught. 
I'm up. Let's go. What is this? This shit. Cool. It went by a little fast, but I love the description on some of these attacks. Like, the security officer leaped in terrifyingly. Yo. Yet again, that's another Dragon Quest ism that this game's localization took. At least I assume that was that was the localization. Like, I'm sure the lion was still kind of go goofy in the original, but I can't mm. read Japanese, so. I suppose I should mention that we've been picking up armor as we've been going along. There's no Chinese restaurant here. Where the hell it go? Ah, quit jabbering. And Where the hell it go? Is Ichiban just like tired and exhausted or something that he can't form coherent sentences? Well, you know, he just he forgot a word. <laughs> huh? Who the fuck are you? I should ask you the same guy from Boston. <laughs> Check this out. I, I've been wondering where that dude went. I just haven't seen him in like a week. In ages. Let's <laughs> go. I really like those follow-up attacks. Those those are pretty great whenever they proc. Mm hmm. That's a nice sound to it, too. Hey. Mm hmm. I actually can't think of it off the top of my head if that's, like, uh, unique to the follow up attack or if it's, like, uh, just the crit noise. Hmm. I feel like it's the crit noise. I think so, too. <laughs> I can't be certain. Looks like we're gonna have to jump. Dangerous. Five. I thought we were on Dangerous Seven. Well, uh, uh, I skipped the last two then. <laughs> what the? Somehow I would have preferred a flying knee strike. That would have been really good too, actually. Mm. You know, I don't think I mentioned it at all yet, but there's some there's a part of the the Amocho battle theme that sounds a lot like Gundam style to me. Mm. Coming up in a bit. Now. Come on now. Okay. Uh, let's go. Uh. You hear it? Let's go. Uh. No, not this yeah. part. Uh, it, it was the part that like led into this bit. It reminded me more of a uh, Gangnam style. That's what I said, Gangnam style. Oh, then sorry. I apparently <laughs> blacked out there for a moment. Yes. <laughs> Come on. It's, well, we're on the same page. it's the part where he's like, and there was. I got this. Yeah, that. that. Yeah. Like I'm expecting. I was like every time I hear the song, I just I can't get the image of Ichiban doing that dance out of my head. <laughs> and you know he'd be he'd be, like be all for it too. Let's go. Let's go. Anyway, uh. There's a bunch of dudes here, but there's not a whole lot of trouble to take care of them. Just be careful, because there are a bunch. Uh, like, I do know that this fight is actually kind of dangerous, like, in the speedrun of this game. Uh, now that we've ranked up Ichiban and Adachi, we've got new skills for them.
The meeting's just down those stairs. I'm gonna move on. <clears throat> some time. Go on ahead. Go! The Dachi's on! Just go! I'll catch up when I can, okay? Get moving! Man, ever since that last time that a helicopter was really involved in the story. It just, they, you know, they clearly did something with the engines. <laughs> what a difference that 20, 40 years makes. Yeah. Uh, here's a healing point if you need it. Um, so yeah, for the last part of this, this dungeon, we're, we're on our own. Well, well. Ready to die, punk? Yep. I just love how immediately these guys are like, all right, you're dead. It's like, uh, what? <laughs> all right, so Rock Swing is a two-part attack where the first part is uh, rapid uh, bashing, followed up by a precise uh, button press. I think it does a little more damage than Tenacious Swing, but it can be a little hard to use, like, especially if you don't yet know the timing for precise hits. It's also not that much more, so if you're, you prefer just keeping Tenacious Fist, just go with that. I don't know if uh, Rock Swing does anything for, uh, like, in terms of status, whereas Tenacious Swing can stun. Also, can I just say I really enjoy that uh, the, the healing spots are just like break room uh, refrigerators. Captain Sawashiro. Oh, Ichi. It's been a while. Well, come on. I know you don't care when I got out. <laughs> Sounds like prison made you into a pessimist. You should have called us. We would have sent someone to pick you up. I wouldn't have wanted a ride from anyone wearing an Omi badge. Where were you when the boss turned traitor? Watch your tongue, Ichi. He only did what anyone else would have done in times like these. But you're right. Even if the Tojo clan still existed, no one would have come to pick you up. You do realize that, right? Because if you remember, you were banished from the clan. Look, I'm not actually that hung up about the ride. And yeah, I remember the banishment. So what do you want? Did you come to beg for money? You know, I thought you might be grateful. Did you forget who spent 18 years eating prison slop in your place? Oh, I'm very aware of what you did. But you're not aware of what's happening tonight. What? It's a very important event for the boss. I can't risk one of his former grunts ruining it. So the choice is yours. Leave like a good boy, or die here. I'm going through that door, and talking to my boss. <laughs> you know, I really forgot how seeing your stupid face always made me want to kill you. I thought the same thing about you. Every time you hit me for no reason. Well, it's been 18 long years. About time one of our dreams came true. Sounds good. Just don't bitch and moan about it afterwards. You ready, Ichi? Let's do it! Cool. Alright, so let's fight Sawashiro. Show me your best. Alright, so he's, he's a pretty decent starter boss. I don't know how much of that's going to be apparent in uh, this run because uh, I did not take a single point of damage in this fight.
Also, the uh, the fight choreography that I love so much in Judgment is back in full force. I'm glad you showed up. I've been waiting a long time for this. All right. Now he's in phase two, where uh, he takes a piece of shattered glass and uses it as a makeshift knife. I think he can cause bleed now, and he has a couple different attacks, but uh, again, if you're supernaturally lucky like I was this run, it doesn't really matter. Just keep up with the pressure and eventually you'll get to him. I'm not sure what ridicule does. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to enrage you or something. Yeah, I could believe that. I think it, I think it's uh, the sort of status that just makes you do uh, basic attacks. Yeah, I you know I I would totally believe that. You're not ready. The captain's got that freakish aura around him, and he's in a fighting stance. Gotta be careful. I love that Ichiban can actually see the heat aura. Like he sees many so, things. We've been over this. I know. So, so when he does that, you're supposed to guard to mitigate the damage, but dodging works too. Yeah, just don't get damage, idiot. <laughs> turn, turn to dodge for it. <laughs> I'm glad I got to move twice in a row for that last bit. <laughs> and also beat him with a bottle that was just on the floor. Do you realize what you're doing? Once you go through that door, there's no turning back. Ichi, are you sure you're ready for that? 18 years. I've been waiting to open this goddamn door for 18 years. That's long enough! Boss. And who might this be? Pardon the interruption. It seems I have a guest. So, you came. I figured you would. You never disappoint. <sighs> Boss, please just tell me. Why'd you do it? Captain, do we have a problem here? No, nothing serious. No need for you to worry. Boss. In fact, it's going as planned. I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. Well, a short game. Yeah, it was fun, though. Um, I never really played a RPG game that you only ever... Like, the max level is, like, level 10. Um, but fun. I can't wait to see what the credits uh, have to bring to us. <laughs> um, kind of a shame that. we're never going to see the other two. I guess those are just, like, bystanders that we never really noticed in any of the fights. But... <laughs>